welcome back to my channel everyone I've got a couple of updates to fill you in on and obviously this episode today is blending paint on the rocks so if you can't already tell what one of the updates would be is new paint so originally I just had the six tubes of Semco acrylic and just the other day I went into spotlight and grabbed another six quickly before I get into any further I did tell you they'll be eight to nine dollars I think in the previous video per tube I was wrong they're actually only four dollars fifty a tube so there you go half price um, so whatever I said if it was about fifty or sixty dollars you could nearly take 15 20 bucks off that so the new colors I've got I got this one Metallic, metallic silver. I'm trying to get this in focus. There we go. Metallic silver. You can see that down there. Probably not it's a bit too far away. But anyway, that's metallic silver. Haven't yet used it. Dark blue, which is the prop that squeezed. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Restocked up in some dark blue, which is actually called Cyan. Not sure if I'm saying it. Cyan. Ow. Yeah, that makes sense, I think, when I've been playing Among Us. I always used to think, what the hell's sand? It's blue. <laughs> Dark green. Jolly green, it's called. Yellow and orange. Which is called just yellow. got to make sure I'm getting in the frame when I'm showing you, don't I? It's a bit awkward where I've got... I'm using my Canon, actually. Last time I was using my iPhone, obviously, so this time I'm using my Canon 80D. So I've got it kind of set up behind my back here because I had it over here, but I thought if I'm painting, my hand's going to be in the way. So I've just got to roll with it. Um, orange. Doesn't want to focus. Orange. And lucky last. This nice fluorescent pink, which is obviously a colour I couldn't mix up without with whatever I had already. That's called neon pink. There you go. Lovely. Neon pink. Beautiful. Okay. So that's update number one. Update number two will be showing you fairy rock. So I finally completed Fairy Rock. It's got one little minor touch up that I want to do. Um, but other than that, it's done. Obviously not painted. But when I purchased these, actually, I ended up going to Bunnings. I couldn't find, I think the brand is Rust-Oleum. And that's the ideal, really well-known rock ceiling clear coat that comes in a can. And they don't sell that. So I just had to get stuff in a little bottle. It's white, but it dries clear. It's UV resistant, indoor, outdoor use. So I thought that should be fine. It was in the craft section. It's in a bottle. It's white, but it dries clear. I assume it's satin finish. So in between matte and gloss, that'll do. Okay, here is Fairy Rock. Just sit that down. So as you're aware, focus. Oh, focus. Can I click that button and that'll help? There we go. Beautiful. So I just told you I was going to fill those in with the black, which I did. I then didn't fill those in with white. I kept those pink. So the ombre sort of effect. And then I just did the white dots. Doot, 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 doot. I then outlined the wings. And then I did more dots around. Same on the other little wing peeking at the back there. And anyway, I thought because I sort of positioned her wrong, I made it so she's like looking at the moon. So I put it on the corner, this one, and then as you're walking past, you'd be like this, essentially. Oh, and by the way, the little flowers. And then these little white ones here, you know the things you pick and go <laughs> blowish, those. So stars, the dots, as you walk past, it'd be like this. See so her looking up to the moon. Love, love, love it. So that's that. And as I was telling you about the essentially potential um, Halloween rock, 
that could turn into anything, which it did, turned into kind of like a, a basic rock. <laughs> but I love it, so it's all that matters. But as I was doing it, I realised I did it the wrong way, so it's got to be concreted the other way around, but that's okay. Peace sign. That's pretty cool, love that. So yeah, happy with that. And I've got another rock that I've done. I actually used my brand new colours because I kind of, I was going to go with the Lion King theme. I'm just going to find the right inspo so you can tell it's a line, if you know what I mean, because I'm going to Till I have my pens, it's going to have to be a black line, just like the fairy was all black, if you know what I'm saying. So I use the yellow and the orange for this rock. Oh, before I show you the rock, <laughs> beginning my second update, I went to a beach down Sandy Bay. And <clears throat> my partner, he goes, I know the beach, it's got beautiful rocks. We're walking down a really steep incline, really steep lots of stairs. So you know the trip back's going to be fun, not. Anyway incredible smooth rocks thousands and thousands so we probably loaded up oh, i'm gonna say about 100 kilos worth of rocks <laughs> and we're there and we're struggling we broke the handle on the bag thank god there was a driveway like say 20 meters up so we could reverse down and just load it up <laughs> but see those beautiful smooth stone rocks i was telling you about super awesome love them i love the rough ones but yeah who doesn't love a smooth rock Okay, so you could say this is a Halloween theme, but it doesn't have to be, it's just cats on an old barn style fence. And this is copied from an online previous rock that I've found. So props to her. There we go, I love it. So the, you know, the twigs kind of tree sort of continues up top which I love it's nice to be extra and just go around the edges be that person go extra love it and as you can see close up with the um focus on me see like the grass just a little flex with your pen so I'm thinking I won't have time today to fit in drawing on a rock but obviously today is painting blending and that's it gonna, you know i guess this is going to be like an episode sort of series so i obviously thought what color are we going to paint this rock i think the most popular request would definitely by far have to be these guys, this theme, pink and purple. So today's colours are just original. So we're going with baby pink. And magenta. And obviously, yeah, one, two white base is a must for the baby pinks like say the mints the baby pinks but in general it's kind of nice just to do a white base anyway because it makes all the colors a lot more opaque and vibrant so grab your prop say your what your rocks already painted white okay if not do that pause come back so i've already poured in I've got my baby pink, magenta, and I just mixed up, oh, actually wrong, although I didn't have the blue, so, yeah, what did I do there, I can't even remember, but it would be nice if you've got a dark blue, okay, so you need baby pink, magenta, white, and baby blue, uh, not baby blue, baby pink, magenta, white, and cyan, dark blue, okay. So I've painted my rock white, poured the baby pink, the magenta, I poured magenta a couple of drops, 
I've then added a drop or two of sand, stirred it up, beautiful dark purple. Okay, let's get started. Have everything you need, obviously, your water, your brushes, piece of paper to initially get your water off of your brush before you dab it on and really get that excess off onto some paper towel or whatever you've got. So, main thing is obviously to keep everything wet, keep it wet, otherwise it's not going to blend, it's going to drag. And another tip, make sure your white paint is fully dry before you go into blending, otherwise you're going to bring up the raw surface of the rock, you're going to move the white paint away and you're going to have patches of grey rock, whatever colour the rock is. So we're in focus here. Yep. So just paint your rock. Nice beautiful big dots, okay? Just some nice smooth motions. Now I like to go, say if we've got three colours, we're going to go for about a third of the rock. But it doesn't matter if you go towards halfway. It doesn't matter because you can cover it up with your paint. Because obviously you're going to start with... You always start with your lightest colour. And if you want it to be the opposite way, turn the rock around, if you get what I'm saying. Which I've done here. No, where did I do it? The fairy rock started off. Oh no, I did start off with dark purple on the fairy rock down the bottom. So scratch what I just said about always start with the light colour. Doesn't matter. Although it is easier starting with the light colour first. So maybe if you first go do exactly what I'm doing now. And obviously before you're painting, make sure you've got your rock in the right way you want it to sit. You know, if you look either side, this side's better. There. And I kind of killed it around too though. That's alright, isn't it? In focus, I think. So come around, like just bring your eyes around the rock and bring it as far around as you can see white paint. Because the more it's more surface painted, the better. It looks like you've really put a lot of time and effort into this rock. But you will. Not too much time, but effort. Creativity. You know why I started taking it up? Because I find it gets the endorphins flying. Like, obviously exercise is the best, but I swear on this list I saw arts and crafts. And I thought, I love arts and crafts. Brilliant. Let's get those endorphins flying. Okay, I'm feeling pretty happy that I'm now going to move on to magenta. So let's just quickly get a little bit of wet paint just here at the top. You don't have to be rough at all. Not rough, just and kind of keep those blending nice. Kind of blend it, you know. Don't be like that. Just kind of blend it nicely, so it's smooth. Nice appearance for your rock. And you know when you're done, because your paint starts to sort of be sticky, become sticky. Apologies, grammar. Okay. Now, do not even. You don't have to really. Uh, I might go like this and get the excess off, but I won't dip in my water as such. Just get your excess off. Now dip into magenta. Don't go too heavy with this dollop on your blending colour. Just just a little double do. Ready? Fun. So what I like to do is before I actually start blending, do your one third. Just touch. Just touch your baby pink. But you don't want to get it on there too much because you want to make you know, you want to have your vibrant magenta there, don't you? Your nice second third of magenta. So that's what I like to think of that as really. I mean, if you've got black in it, that's different. Like that green rock we showed you originally in the first video with the trees, that's different. You want to sort of position your ombre up further, so you still have all three colours. But I like to think of an ombre consisting of your three colours. Baby pink, magenta, and purple. And like with the orange, you'd have yellow, orange, red, mix the two, you've got red which is what I did on my cat rock at the top. I could have gone a bit more heavy on the red, but it is there, very faintly. All right, I'm quite happy, obviously. Double check your edges. Double check these edges around there. Dab off the excess. Now I'm going to blend this before I do go on, because I don't want it to dry. So this is where the fun begins. And don't get scared, do not be scared. Just gently blend, and I'm just ever so like touching the surface. 
just ever so slightly touching. And you will find you will need to add more paint. I mean, today's hot, so I'm going to need to add more baby pink to blend. So make sure you've always got a little bit left in the pan there. If not, you can always add. You're better off not adding enough rather than adding too much because you're going to struggle putting it back in that tube. I haven't tried. I haven't. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to add a bit of this baby pink just to help the blending process. I'm just going to be quick now. See how it's really taking taking action now. It's starting to actually blend. And you might find you get a different little colour in there. You might get a bit of purple in between. That's alright. Looks great. Okay, let's blend. Just keep going so gently. If you notice you get a bit of magenta, sort of dab that off because you don't want to bring too much magenta back down into the baby pink. And if you do, it doesn't matter. Blend, blend, blend. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. A bit more baby pink. And you can slightly go over that there. And, I mean, you just keep going to your heart's content. Really? You might even want to drag some of that back down slightly. Just slightly. Now I'm feeling nearly I'm yeah. I'm feeling pretty happy. Yep. Maybe just a dot of magenta. Just a dot there and then get down a little bit. Yeah, so it's sort of like feathering it. Just like this. I think it blends a lot easier. So if you can see that, quite happy. So now we're going to move on to our mixed up pre-mixed purple. Dob that all over. Now remember, do your quarter, your third, sorry, before you come down and start blending, just touch. Just touch. So yeah, you don't need to actually dip in between any of this. No dipping in the water. At all. Only once the project is done. Or if you're adding black, whatever, then you would get a clean going back. So I guess next video I'm going to show you find a design and we'll draw. Fully complete a rock other than the clear coat. I mean we might have time to add a clear coat in, see what it comes out of. I'll obviously do a uh, test patch before I come and coat up a rock with a product I've not used before. Okay, now I'll take that back. I added a big dob. I'm going to take some of that off. Just blend. But I think I'm definitely going to need to add some magenta to it. Yep, magenta's dried up. So, just take a dob there. Just a little bit on the end of the brush. Go directly over the line and blend. Because purple is your more dominant colour here. So, just sort of blend. Like that. And then you might need a decent dob of magenta now. You come underneath the purple just touch over the top just slightly so and while you're here make sure you're feeling these white caps just feel them because you can't do that really after the fact just dab 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 now blend feather strokes just light feather strokes okay now I'm going to go in with the magenta so it's just playing around guys, whatever makes you happy and proud of your piece. If you feel like you need more magenta, more purple, do whatever you play, it's just sort of like a step by step process, which this is, you know, I've shown you what you need, and I've showed you now today how to blend. Then next I'll be drawing the rocks. Doesn't matter obviously if you drag that magenta up. The purple, the more dominant. Alright, I'm nearly getting happy with this, but I feel like I might go heavy with this magenta here, like that.
And I sometimes bring it down around the edges here and it creates like a, a horizon, if you know what I mean, like a circle. You can sort of manipulate and create an illusion, bring some of the darker colours down the edges here, like that. Just gently around there, yep. Great. Now, slightly around to the other side, a little bit, just here, just like that. Half circle, half drone. Wipe off that, it just got too dark. Might feel like I'm gonna have to take that actually, a little bit of baby pink. Do what you've gotta do, guys. There's no rights or wrongs when it comes to rock painting. Not at all. I think you really, you know, just get the anchor over it like that. Really bring out your baby pink once more. But probably wash off your excess purple completely before you do so. Make sure I'm still in. Yeah. Focus. Try and get more. Being a little bit of a set. Perfectionist today, huh? Give me a break, it's video. Showing you. Let's go and touch more. Oh. Mm, this is turning out good. It always does, but you just, you know, you can't really stuff blending up. Just keep on going back and forth, back and forth. And like I said, you're not desire. Okay. Oh, you might need to add a slightly second coat actually at the top there with this this really deep purple. I didn't realise. Fill that in a bit. You can just see what I mean, it was like slightly, so it's slightly patchy here. Just go over it a touch. Just touch that up because that is the end product essentially. So get it how you want it first time around because you can't really go over and blend twice. That's why the white background really helps. Okay. I'm gonna call that. Oh god. Truth woman. Alright. I'm nearly there, guys. I just. Get that purple off. Dab, dab, dab for this. Final blend here. Maybe a bit of baby pink there. Okay, <laughs> put the rock down. I am happy. Okay, so together today we've successfully blended a rock. 
I hope you guys have found this video really helpful. So next video, let's get this nice close up. Maybe I'll have to turn my let's just turn it up a little bit. There we go. So today we have successfully blended a sunrise, sunset, ombre, sort of background themed rock with the colours baby pink, magenta and then mixed with the two dark purple. No, blue mixed with magenta to create the purple. I hope you guys have found this video helpful and it would have been cool if you actually tagging along and had your rock ready to go, had your colours. If not, you know now what you really need to get. And then next video is going to be us together. I mean, this will probably be already decorated because I just can't help myself, okay? But next video will be designing a rock together, drawing on it. Now, I'm not sure what that will consist of, but I'll teach you the step-by-step -step process, but I'll do it, might even make it easier. Do a grayler sort of sketch first, even though I'm not sure if you can use a rubber. I normally, I never use a grayler, I just go full hog and draw on it with my pens. So you want to make sure you sort of get it right the first time. But yeah, if you're doing a sort of difficult design, practice on a piece of paper first before you go ahead on your rock. Because you can't, with these ombre ones, you can't really touch up, shall I say, you know. Whereas if it was just a one colour rock, it would be a little bit easier to do the touch ups. Okay, so I'm not sure how often I upload, but whenever I've got some time, and the, the house is quiet and I can upload and record a video, that's cool. Alrighty guys, thanks, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, a comment, and do subscribe. I'll talk to you guys next time. Catch ya.